Hello, my crafty friends. Let's straighten up the camera a little bit. Okay. <laughs> well, I actually started pretty much on time. Nobody's here yet. So if you're watching the replay, it's not going to be very exciting for a minute. <laughs> Just um, waiting for people to get here. What I'm going to do is prep this journal for use two different ways. And I thought somebody else might have a journal that they thought was really pretty, but they also like the papers inside for another use and they might want to try this. So, um, one thing is that this is a, their signatures that were sewn in and glued in, which means the outside papers for each signature are glued in. So when you, if you take out all the papers in the signature, you'll be left with the ones that were glued in and you'll automatically have just a certain number of pages. And it's kind of hard to tell looking at this. Well, I say they're signatures. Yeah, I think they are. But there's, there's quite a few of them. So I think this will work to do it both, both ways. Um, hi, Mindy. I'm glad you're here. So um, I can use it, you know, with the pages that are glued in. And then I can take the other pages out and use them a different way. But let's just see if we can find the center of the signature. That's the first thing to do. I think that's the center. Sometimes it's hard to tell. You kind of are going to have to break the binding a little bit. I'm trying to see where the center is. Hmm. Okay, maybe I went too far that direction. Let's just go back here and look. Okay, so there are not very many pages in each of these signatures. One, two, three, maybe four. Hi, Joyce. I'm glad you're here. Anyway, since all I'm going to leave in this book are the ones that are glued in, it's okay for me to go ahead and cut the, cut the, um, the string that's holding the signatures in place because that will allow us to get the um, the pages out whole and not torn up. Now we'll see if I, if I'm if I'm right about the way this book was put together. If I'm wrong, then it won't work out the way I planned. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and take these out and um, separate them one by one. So there's three I can take out. That one is glued in. <laughs> you can come back and cut all those little things off. I don't know if I will or not. Okay, we're going to go to the back and do that signature next. Because um, those are the hardest ones to do and I'll get them over with. Okay. It helps if you can, you know, open this up really wide. That way you don't tear the paper with your exacto knife while you're trying to get under those things. I know this isn't real, real exciting, but um, I think it's a helpful skill to have when you're taking books apart and trying to turn them into 
Okay, I may have grabbed an extra one here that I didn't need to grab. Let's just take them out one at a time. This one's not wanting to come apart as easily as that first one did. Okay. So I'm going to, it looks like I'm going to be able to take out um, three pages or three um, folios for each signature. Because there aren't that many in each one, so. Hi, Nashua. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Mary. I'm so glad y'all are here. You poke, she pokey her head in to say hello. Hi, thanks for poking your head in. Sorry you can't stay, but I certainly understand. We're going to take these pages out. And then we're gonna um, we're gonna think about different ways to um, maybe besides just plain coffee dyeing that we can do. That one is stuck under. There we go. Okay. I think this one's stuck. Okay, just want to be sure. Did you go too far? Yep, I did. I went too far. Bye, Mary. Barbara says, our tulips are spilling over the container. They're so happy to be here. Oh, that's cool. We ha I have some um, jonquils. Uh, I think that's what they're called. Aren't they the ones that are really small, but they look like just like daffodils, except they're smaller? Um, I think those are. I think that's what they are, jonquils. In our front yard, we have a few of those, and got a little bit of grass peeking out, but. And I've done a book this way. I just didn't do it in front of y'all. I just showed it to you. And some people said, well, next time you do that, you know, show us. And so, okay. So that's what I'm doing. Because while I'm taking these out to put in other journals, I'm prepping this one to use like it is. And so... Hi, Teresa. I'm glad you're here. It seems like I overshoot it quite often. Okay, I did it again. One more. Yeah. And you don't always have to bend it back like this. Sometimes it opens wide enough. You don't have to do that. But this one is making me be mean to it. Did I tell y'all I found a place where I can take my extra craft supplies and I know that they'll get used to the library. They've got a maker space and um, their, man their um, 
filling it, you know, mostly with donations. They do have some grant money and they have bought like a 3D printer and a couple of big things like that with um, with the grants. But they're using um, donated items for like um, scrapbook paper and all that kind of stuff. So, so that made me happy to find out that um, they will happily take my donations. And then I know that people in the community, you know, will be using them. So... Okay. All right, I guess it is that one. That my eyes are not being very good. <laughs> All right. I used to not want to bend it back like this, and I ended up tearing up my papers a lot. So I decided to see with one book if it would really hurt it if I did this, and it didn't. So. I'm not as afraid of it now. Of course, there's always a chance that um, that I might end up, you know, messing with the binding. If it's if it doesn't have a really good binding, it might not work as well. But um, this is a modern book. It's you know, so I don't have to worry too much about. But you can see how now in up here I just have you know. I have space to work. I guess that's what I'm saying. I think this would make a great nature journal. But just because it's, of course, you could just use it as a cactus journal if you wanted to or whatever, but... Good grief, I only got one of each of those. <laughs> okay. So, have y'all been working on anything today? Anything fun you want to share with us? Janet, I'm so glad you're here. I'm just taking this book apart so I can use some of the pages in other books and then make this into a journal. Tell you, I'm I'm ready for it to be warm weather. I'm ready. I think we're all ready around here. <laughs> So, so far, I've taken three pages out of each one. They've all been the same size. And so what you've got are the back of one signature and the front of the next signature that are glued together and glued into the book. So you ever, everywhere you've got, you've got two pages and then you'll have space and then two pages and then space. 
um, is how it'll work. But I think it'll even out to where it's, um, you know, where the fact that there are two right next to each other and then the spaces will be okay. Okay, that one is not. Okay, got it. I have a eye doctor appointment on Thursday morning. And so, and I need that. I think I'm, I might be needing some new glasses. It's been three or four years since I've gotten them and at that time she said I was getting really close to um oh there it is I was getting really close to having <laughs> as much as she could do so that doesn't bode well for the future but um anyway I don't know if she'll be able to up my prescription in any or not or if that would be you know sometimes if you do it, you um, you make it actually get worse faster than if you wait. And so, anyway, I'll be doing that between teeth and eyes and cars. <laughs> I'm ready to have some... A month that's non-eventful. Oh, got it. Got the book upside down. That's all right. And I've already done that last one, I think. No, maybe there's another one in there. Nope, that's it. Okay. So now it looks like this. And then it has this right here, you know, to put your stuff in. Um... It's got lots of quotes, which I really like. So there's plenty of pages left in this book. Let's see how many there are. Okay, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20. Okay, so there's about 40 pages if you count each side of each of these pages. So that's plenty for a journal, I think. Joy says her car's been in the shop for six months. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry, Joyce. Well, I've mine's been in and out for six months trying to fix the same problem and it's happening again so I don't know I gotta take it back in Wednesday morning so here's this and I'm trying to decide do I want to work with prep in these pages I think I won't since I don't know for sure what I'm going to do. And I've got all these pages to play with. All right. There we got some of them turned around backwards. Okay. So all of these are, you know, a folio, which is fun because you can do, um, 
The most difficult decision is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity. <laughs> That's Amelia Earhart. Let's see what other, see if we got in more good quotes you might need to hear. Properly understood and applied, prayer is the most potent instrument of action. Mahatma Gandhi. Without continual growth and progress, such words as improvement, achievement, and success have no meaning. Benjamin Franklin. When your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. It doesn't give a scripture. It just says the Bible. <laughs> Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seed you plant. Robert Louis Stevenson. I like that one. Gardening is an exercise in optimism. Sometimes it's a triumph of hope over experience. Gardening is the art that uses flowers and plants as paint and the soil and sky as the canvas. Elizabeth Murray. All the flowers of tomorrows are in the seeds of today. It says it's an Indian proverb. Bloom like a flower. Unfold your own beauty. Deb Debashish Murdha. I am not sure I said that right at all, so I apologize if I butchered that name. Do what you can where you are with what you have. Teddy Roosevelt. That's my new motto. <laughs> Do what you can where you are with what you have already. I added the already word in there. <laughs> uh -huh. What you do makes a difference. You decide what kind of difference you want to make. Jane Goodall. Sometimes a storm in your life is what will blow you to the place you are longing to be. Beth Moore. I better make sure that that's not an important text message from one of my kiddos or something. Nope. Just a text message telling me Hannah spent some money. <laughs> okay. Not that it matters to me. It's her own money. I just, she just still has it set up to send me text alerts when she spends money. <laughs> we got that, her checking account when she was 13. So. Do not think that nothing is happening because you do not see yourself grow or hear the whir of the machinery. All great things grow noiselessly. You can see a mushroom grow, but never a child. Henry Drummond. Okay, did I? Am I yeah, I am. I'm turning them back and forth different directions. Okay. I just want to, okay. The change we have been striving after is not to be produced by any more striving after. It is to be wrought upon us by the molding of hands beyond our own. That's also Henry Drummond. Do y'all want me to keep reading these or are y'all tired of this and want me to move on to something else? Call a plant beautiful and it becomes a flower. Call it ugly and it becomes a weed. Jonathan Lockwood Huey. Didn't have anything to do with the plant itself, but with our perception of it. Lisa Conway. <laughs> okay. Um, sure enough, in their own time and in their own way, people worked out the deep pain within them. It most often started in the garden. As flowers bloomed or vegetables ripened, talk was less of the bitter past and more of tomorrow's weather. Corey Tin Boom. Janet says, I enjoy hearing them. Need to replay later and write some down. Okay. Well, if you're, I'm enjoy reading them because I haven't read them to myself either. So 
Remember, your words can plant gardens or burn whole forests down. Gemma Troy, that is true. Unless you try to do something beyond what you have already mastered, you will never grow. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Well, I've been growing all my life, even though I never got past four foot, ten and three quarters. <laughs> because I have always wanted to learn the new things. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. Henry Matisse. Without rain, nothing grows. It doesn't make the rain in your life any any easier to know that. But it does help as you look back on those rainy days. Be patient with yourself. Self-growth is tender. It's holy ground. Stephen Covey. Keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadow. It's what the sunflowers do. Helen Keller. Once you choose hope, anything's possible. Christopher Reeve. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you learn. John Maxwell. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, it keeps it positive both ways. Growth must be chosen again and again. Abraham Maslow. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. Lady Bird Johnson. Always do your best. What you plant now, you will harvest later. Og Mandino. Actions are the seed of fate. Deeds grow into destiny. Harry S. Truman. The glory of gardening. Hands in the dirt, head in the sun, heart with nature. To nurture a garden is to feed not just the body, but the soul. Alfred Austin. Gratitude for the seemingly insignificant, a seed. This plants the giant miracle. And Voskamp. One more. Be not afraid of growing slowly. Be afraid only of standing still. Chinese proverb. All right. Well, I got... Um, let me go get... A couple of things real quick and we will go ahead and get these ready to coffee dye i'll be right back sorry i should I'd have thought of that and brought it when i came out here but i didn't so y'all have to chat amongst yourself for a minute i don't even have anything pretty to stick out here for you to look at i'll just put this there you go that's pretty <laughs> best i can do it short notice oh be right back
Okay. Oh. I got some of these a while back and just set them aside because I haven't I haven't done any paper for a while. Oh, you're welcome, Janet. But these are placemats. And they look like this. So I have four of those. And those should be fine. Um, where do I put these while I'm checking? Oh, right back here. All right. And then I've got these that are okay. Some of these old ones in here that I've been using for a while. Um, they've had the pages, paper stick to them. They need to be washed. But um, I can't remember which one. I think it's some of these here. but Because those are the oldest ones. These are all plastic placemats is what these are. Those are okay. See this one, you can see the paper stuck to it. And this one. So I need to wash these before I use them again. This one too. And this one. So I guess we're not going to get to use any of those today. That one's all right. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, let's move this out of the way. Is I'm just going to make layers. Let's see, will this go in? Yeah, it will. Okay. That works out nicely. This is a nice big cake pan, and it um, it works really well for this move the coffee so you can actually see it see it all now one thing you can do and I have done is put two layers of paper and then you get just the print on one side of the paper but the the coffee flows better through the whole thing if there's one of these between each set of paper because that kind of lifts up between the papers and the coffee can flow between them better. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to do it like this and then um, whatever papers we have left at the end we will... Um, We'll do something different. I wish I had some avocado dye made up, but I don't. And I'm thinking about pour in some color in um, before I pour the coffee and then letting the coffee dilute it and move it around. I haven't ever tried that, but I thought it might be fun. So we, we may try that. It may end up, if I do that, all the color being on the bottom papers. I don't know. I don't know how it'll work. It's It'll be an experiment. And these are just little plastic doilies. Oh, no paper. <laughs> you love the experiments. Okay, good. Well, we're going to do one today.
I guess these will just have that. That'll be all right. These are bigger. They go kind of up the ends like this. So um, that might keep them from doing as good. I don't know. I don't know if it'll make any difference or not. The fact that they've been rolled up probably will make the most difference. <laughs> anyway. I could have brought something out here to put on top of them after I put all the stuff in, but I didn't want it to keep the um, the coffee from being able to flow between. That's why I didn't want to put something on top of them, you know, heavy to flatten them down. So we're just going to let them do whatever they'll do like this, I think. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead. I think it might be better. I'm trying to de debate. What do y'all think? Janet, you've done some a lot of paper dyeing. What do you think if I pour? Let me find the colors I'm going to use so I can show you. Where did I put them? I gave them a box. Where did I put the box? <laughs> oh, good grief, Lisa. Oh. oh, there they are. Okay. When I made my marbled papers, I used some of these. Um, I think I want to use the ones that are partial here. I hope that that doesn't mean I'm, no. I don't know. I hope that I've got... Um, Ooh, we might want to add some red in there with that. Would that be fun? Have a little bit more. These are color wash tint, one step water based tint, but they have some metallic in them. Some of them do, some of them don't. Like this one, it, it doesn't have any metallic in it, it's just red wine. And this one has something. Like that makes it um, more opaque. I don't know if it, it doesn't say it's metallic. These are the Tattered Angel color wash tints. So now I'm trying to decide do I want to use these ones and just use up these bottles? Or do I want to go ahead and. Um, I don't think I want to use both of those. Um, do I have more of this one? That's what I need to know. Yes, I do. Okay. Because that's my favorite one. <laughs> okay. So what's the easy thing? This one's bronze. This one is Purple Rain. This one is Pewter. Blue Lagoon. Red Wine. 
whitewash, lemonade, Caribbean mist, copper, which is this one, weathered copper, which is this one, and verdigris, which is this one. So this patina is the only one I don't have a backup for. I thought, well, of these, my favorite ones that I don't have a backup for. I thought I did. So I may just leave that one and do these three and add in red. No, because of the green, that might not be good. Hmm. Well, yeah, I think, though, I'm going to pour some of them just around the edges. Um, because I've already got them layered. And I would have to unlayer them if I'm going to spray it on. Does that make sense? Do you think I should unlayer them and spray it on each one? So I should do it the way I was planning? Is that what you're saying? Do it the way I was planning to? Do what you said. Okay. All right. Let's move this out of the way. And we're going to move these out just so we can get to the... Um, these are the, we're going to do these a different way. <laughs> okay. I didn't, I meant to go see if there was any coffee in the, um, in the coffee pot because Hannah makes it in the morning and if she doesn't drink it in the morning, it just sits there because Ethan doesn't like reheated coffee so all right let's um let's just do this let's just pour a little bit oh i didn't do that one enough That's those two. Well, that's... Okay, we empty that one. And now we'll use some of this wine color. Let's put a little bit over here. Woo! That may be too much. Okay, now who knows what this is going to end up looking like. <laughs> now we're going to pour more coffee on it. Okay, and I'm going to take this back in the house and see if, um, if there's more coffee. Because the, the more I can fill this up with coffee, the more stuff will be able to leak into the insides. So I'm going to take this back in the house and see if there's more coffee. I'll be right back.
Okay, there's more in here than would fit into that jar, so I'm just going to pour it out of here. I feel like pouring it right down the middle is the best plan for making sure it goes everywhere. Okay, let's leave this. Hi, Riri. I'm so glad to see you. Thank you. You're sweet. I'll be right back. Got to take this back in the house. <laughs> Would hate to leave it out here. Somebody needs some coffee. I may have just um, turned it all into one muddy color, but that'll be okay if that's the way it works out. It typically does, Barbara, especially if I can put more, if I had enough to really cover it. Uh, because all of these things are in between, they allow the water to go in. Does that make sense? Um Let's go down quite a bit and see. A lot of red down there. So it's it's going most most of the way anyway. And if you keep doing this, that kind of helps it. I'm going to take, where is that paper? I had some. Hmm. I had some other paper out here I wanted to coffee dye. What did I do with it? I thought it'd be fun just to stick it in there. Okay, give me a second while I try to find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to try some of these. I will show y'all on Thursday how they turn out. <laughs> I've never done this either with adding the color like this, so we will see. But me pressing these papers down on top also helps it underneath to move the water around. And I'm not gonna... I'm not going to worry about trying to get it, you know, completely covered. If I can just get it a lot covered. The parts that aren't completely covered will still be really cool, I think. Jenna says she does it with eco dye, but she hasn't tried it with coffee. Well, the coffee and the... Um, what do you call that? Uh, avocado dye are the only things I've ever done this way. Well, I also did my... No, I didn't because I didn't use the um, these things when I did my... Um, what do you call that? Uh, my butterfly, butterfly pea flower um, tea. I just poured it on the papers. I didn't 
put stuff in between them like this. Hi, Journey. Hugs back. In between laundry. Thank you. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be fun. We're just going to go ahead and put them all in here. And then I'm going to let it sit probably before um, this afternoon when I get through streaming. Or maybe tonight before I go to bed. I'm not sure. I'll pour out the uh, the liquid so it can start trying to dry a little bit. And then tomorrow I'll start spreading them out and taking them out of here. Uh, who knows what my hand is going to look like once I get this done. I usually put on a glove for this and I, I didn't. Well, I don't when it's just coffee, <laughs> but um, okay. Let me find a paper towel here. It might end up looking something like this. <laughs> Brown and red. I think the green and, and stuff is going to be mixed in enough. It's probably going to end up just being more brown. Um, anyway. Okay. Where did I? I moved the other ones and now I need to put these with them. And I don't know what I did with them. Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay. Hi, Malia. So good to see you. Show up just in time for the fun stuff. Yep. Sometimes I also go and do this. Through the day, I'll just come in and, and do this every once in a while. Throughout the day while I'm letting it sit and soak up. Um, so that, well, it's, well, it's, it's not too bad. This is the dyed hand. It's just redder. Um, anyway, now I need to find a place to put these. Okay. I'm going to just set them on the table outside. I don't think, well, I'm going to. I'm going to stick this in on top of them. I don't think that that's going to end up blowing away anyway, but if the top piece of paper should get dry, it might decide to blow away. Okay. I'll be right back. I should have kept some of this because I was going to use it on here. Hmm. No, we'll just do it with something else because that would be too much trouble to try and I'll make a mess if I try to pour some of it back up. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to find a place that's relatively level to lay that out there. Was not wasn't working very well. <sighs> running low on tea dyed stuff. Well, I'm not running low. I just um enjoy doing it. I need to be running low. I need to be using it. But anyway, um Okay. 
we're just going to lay these out. Hi, Jen. I'm glad you're here. I hope I've said hi to everybody. I think I have, but I'm not positive. Okay. Um, I need some butcher paper because this will be too, too hard to clean up for what I'm fixing to do. <laughs> I said butcher paper. I meant freezer paper. Um, because the butcher uses it to freeze meat, I always end up calling it butcher paper. Okay. Let's see if we can use some of these to hold this paper in place. Okay. We're going to just do them one at a time. Springtime is so windy, so I can't do it outside till summer. And I don't like baking them. It takes too much time. I agree. And I don't, I rarely do mine outside because we're windy here almost all the time. But while it's really wet like that, it's okay. It, it's not windy enough to blow that off today. Uh, sometimes it can be. Sometimes it can be. Okay. We're going to. Lay those down. And we're going to use one of these. Nope, like this. And then I'm going to... Okay, that's annoying. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Forgot I was holding stuff in place. Woo, that just barely... And it'll be all right. <laughs> it'll be all right. We'll just decide it's going to be okay. If it makes a mess over here or over there, I can clean up a little mess. Um, oh, oh. We're going to use some sprays this time. And then I'm going to wash all of these um, with coffee and stuff. I don't usually wash them. And the reason these are sticking is because I used some paint with it one time mixed in with my coffee. And it stuck that time. And then it's been sticking ever since because I've been too lazy to wash them. But I will after this. Okay, let's... This is Forest Moss um, Distress Oxide Spray. And this is Salvage Patina. I'm going to put some of it in there too. Oh, I should have wiped these off. I need to do that because I'll end up with them clogging up if I don't. Especially this one. Look at that. It's It leaks all over the place. Oh, let me see if I can clean this out. All right, and then I think I've got, where is it? Rusty Hinge, we'll put a little of that. That'll look good with these um, green and turquoise -y. Hi, Sherry. I'm glad you're here. Okay, let's spray some of this. Oh, 
Okay. Oops. No, clean it off. Okay. Those are the ones we used. And we're just going to go ahead and take a couple of these and see if this what this will do. We lay it down like this. Whoops. Then we're going to lay this one down and see what we can put on this side. Are the washes permanent ink? Um, let's see if it says. Okay. It says they're water-based. Ideal for wood, wicker, non-coated surfaces. Shake before use. Apply with a brush. Quick dry. No wipe-off required. Soap and water cleanup. Apply one or more coats to each desired tint. Add water to light and color. So it doesn't say anything about being permanent. I haven't had it. Once I dried my papers when I used it, though, I haven't had it come off of them. Um, so I, I would say, I mean, I've done things on top of those papers. Let me show you one of those papers. Uh, okay. Well, I can't get to them. <laughs> I've used them in several journals, so you would think I would know exactly where to find some. But anyway, the um, the marbled papers I've made with them, it didn't ever come back off when I used other things, put paint or watercolor i've even done some watercolor on them, and i didn't notice it coming off but it doesn't say it's permanent so so i'm not gonna say it's permanent <laughs> okay i just got i got this one oh i don't know it hasn't been that long a month or so um but I haven't opened it and used it, so. I thought we might try it with some of the other and see what it does to it. I wish these had some of those little dots. You know, some things that have paper down it like this, they have dots that if you pull at the dots then you can get it off pretty easy these do not <laughs> uh -huh. i didn't get it cut in the right place i guess I was trying to cut through this I guess at this point I could leave it on there, but I don't really like it. I don't like the feel of it in my hand. Okay. These are supposed to wind off like this, but um, there we go, finally. I'm going to put color down, and then I'm going to add the white on top of it, and we're going to see what it does. And I'm not going to use um, 
distress. Well, I, I might have some. Oh, I do have um, vintage photo. Let's try and see which ones I have that are distress inks versus oxides. Hmm. Okay. These are my distress spray stains. The other ones are oxides. So we're going to use these three together. I would think they would work the best together. I don't know. We're going to try them anyway. And this is forest moss, which is one of my favorite colors. That's look how different they are. Well, you can't, they're very different. Um, in the stra spray stay in the stain versus the um, I'm kind of surprised that um, I should have put more of the forest moss on there. Okay. I, for, I was putting it on there as if I was going to do, you know, color, three different colors in different places, but I'm not. I'm going to put this right on top. So. We're just going to see what it does. Clean that. And this one. And this one. All right. Okay, let me find something to put on top of it. I have some more of those papers. Let's grab those. Okay. Let's do it like this. Hi, Kelly. Kelly Ann, Kel, <laughs> glad you're here. We're going to see. They dried faster than I expected them to. But we still got something pretty. So that's cool. And... Go ahead and take that off. Woo. Um, I'm just going to do this. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I'm going to do this and put this back down. Wait, was it this way? No, this way. Make a mess, make a mess, 101. That's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> Let me find a spot to put things where I won't get stuff all over everything. Okay. There's those papers. I like those pretty good. Let's see what's. Here's these. This is what was down, and this is what was up. And then pick that up. And this is what was underneath it. These are these are the prettiest. They're all I like them all, but but those look really good. But it didn't come through on the back a whole lot, which is kind of a surprise. So we're going to do the back. Because, why not? That one has something on the front and back. So 
Right, let's bring you back over here. Bring you back over here. And I'm going to use just this one on the back. I haven't ever used it either. It's um, Seth After is ink dye spray. And the color of this one is copper. Of course. You know I like copper. Oh, let me get a couple pieces of paper out, though, to soak up the, the back of it. Maybe this time it won't dry on me before I get that done. Okay. Stick that right there. Thanks for thumbing up, Kellyanne. And the rest of you who have, thank you. This is spraying really weird. It's like out the side or something. Okay, that's strange. There's this. And we're going to Got her Timmy order. Yay! What'd you order? Or is it too much stuff to to tell us? Lots of stuff, she says. Okay, some of the other colors that were on there um, are picking up off the top. That's fun. And if it does that um, underneath there, too, that'll be cool, too. Ooh, look at that one. Oh, yes, I'm happy. All right, let's pick this up. Move it over here with the other ones. There we go. Here's this side and this side. So that worked well, I think. Now they just need to dry. <laughs> going to do a live haul. When are you going to do that, Kellyanne, so we can come over and watch? I'm I'm really happy with these papers. The, the only sad thing is it's kind of covered up some of my um, cactus, but that's okay. This one is, you know, it didn't really cover it too much, but okay. Let's put these. Okay, I don't have a lid for this one. Oh. See if I have another one like it. I thought I had. Nope. Oh, it's the eucalyptus that I got a new one sent to me. One of my lovely subscribers sent me this, and I didn't write it on there, so I can't remember who it was, but I still thank you very much because I am very close to being out of that. And that eucalyptus is my favorite of those. Okay, these are my delusions. And um, I'm going to take them out of here. Because um, there's not room for everything. And these are so different from the rest of them that I'll put them in something else. Knocking stuff down. Knocking stuff down. Don't need to do that. Malia says, I ordered a sweatshirt from Timu and I really like it. Good. Well, I'll have a video coming out tomorrow that's a Timu haul. It's, well, it's other things too. It's 
Um, okay, I think these are good enough. I can love that. No, it's really not. Okay. We're just going to put these like this loosely and let them let them dry over here. Hi, Kathy D. Okay. Now I got to see if I can get some of this off my hands. Uh, I really ought to bring gloves out here when I do that, but I didn't know I was going to do that. Oh, thank you for putting the channels up, Janet. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. If y'all have not subscribed to Kellyanne or Malia, you need to do that. Need to do that. Or Sherry. Sherry has a YouTube channel, too. Um, Kathy does. I'm trying to think who all else. I'm... Teresa does. Surprise, she says. Uh, well, I've gotten off all that's going to come off, I think. Oh. Okay. Very good. And it's 10 till 3. So what do I want to do now? I had something in my brain, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> It left my brain and didn't leave me a reminder of what it was. Oh, goodness. What was that? <sighs> well, I'm looking around trying to see if <laughs> been to the balcony just wanted to say surprise. <laughs> I made a messy paper. Yeah. Yeah, it really shouldn't be a surprise, Teresa. I'm good at messy papers. I'm good at messy hands. I don't, got a cuticle that's bugging me right there. Don't like that. Okay. Um. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. Surely I'll think of what it was I was going to do. Next. Oh, okay. I think my plan was to go ahead and try to put in some um, tr some trees. And then we will put in um, all the stuff around the trees. Just do that first. Thanks, Janet. If there's anybody else who wants their channel um, listed, Janet's doing that. And if you would let her know, you know, just if you don't have a wrench yourself, let her know and she'll do it for you. Um, but if you have a wrench, you're welcome to list your channel yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. Tree. Okay. I have a tree stencil. And that's what I'm wanting to use. If I can find where I put my stencils. Ah. This is so ridiculous, Lisa. So ridiculous. Oh. Okay, just, it's very big. It's a 12 by 12 
scrapbook that I've got my stencils in. It should be very easy to find. But I didn't put it back where I usually put it. And now I don't know where it is. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't even see my other one that has um, got smaller stencils in it. Huh. Okay, see, I should prepare in advance. I'm sorry. I did not prepare in advance. Hmm. Well, I wanted to, oh, that's what I want to use for the tree, and I do want to do the tree first. So I think I'm going to um, not do this. Oh, there it is. See? As soon as I give up, it shows up. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. My little my little toy is still sitting here. But in the way. But I like it. <laughs> I'm going to put it up there so it's not in the way. Stick that up there for now. Okay. All right. Here it is. This is one I cut out. Um using I can't remember I think it was a hot um hot like um wood burner I think that's what I used but it made a little lip so they are not really flat which can be frustrating and this is what I took out of it so I can use that sometime too but for what I'm wanting to do today, I need I need to make it a tree and not a mask. Does that make sense? I think it does. And um, this tree is too big. I don't really like either of these. But we may um, make it add to them. I don't know. So I'm going to see. Well, I could. I could do something like this. And just have it very full and um, short. The trunk will be short. Hi, Kathy Berg. Good to see you. So tell me what you think. Do you think I should have it going off the page and use this big tree? Or do you think I should use one of these smaller trays, trees that's not quite as... I guess I could actually use both of the smaller ones and... This could become a bush, and this could be a tree. I like the big tree better, and I kind of like the idea of it going off the page. Use all three, she says. Okay. Well, that would give me a lot more things I can do with the trees if I use all three. All right, so let's lay out the, okay. I want, what I want to do is try to make it um, like it's the same place in different seasons. And that's why I want to start with trees and 
Um, and then add in other stuff. So let's see. I want to see how. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> Let's start. I'm going to put this little tree. Um, right here. Now I need to decide. Do I want to use paint or ink? I think it'll be, I want to pounce it, but I can pounce it with um, black and brown paint. Or I can use ink pads. A happy little tree. Yep. Um, I think I'll use the paint just because it'll be. Um, oh. Well, I'll say it'll be easier to get out. Of it. Okay. A little bob tree. There we go. Um, now. Um. <laughs> okay. Every time I think I've got what I need and I sit back down, then I have to get back up to go get one other thing, like something to put paint on. Okay. Mm. I'll just put it down like that. That'll be easier. Okay. There's some gloopy. I don't like gloopy paint, but there's some in there. Okay. I'm going to get some of these old cheap cosmetic sponges that I got for a quarter at a... Um, estate sale. I think it was an estate sale. <laughs> okay, you are in the way. All right.
So, there's one little tree. And then I want to put the big tree. I don't know why, but I want it on that fold. Because it just, I just, uh oh. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, y'all can't even tell I put any of the red on there, but I did. Oh, let's, uh-oh. <laughs> now we got a problem. I've got a messy stencil and paint that needs to be wiped up. Okay, well, it's not wet, so I'm going to leave it. And then... <laughs> So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to put this little bush over here. Okay. That's messy. That's messy. I don't like it. Wonder how it would look with the glue crackle effect. It'd probably be great. Okay, let's see. What well, I'm finding the paint on the back. <laughs> Okay, so there are our three trees in the wintertime. Don't know what that's going to be. We're going to have to make it into something. <laughs> okay. And... All right, I'm sorry. I need to think about this again. One, two, three, four, five. Is that on the very last one? Okay. I'm going to move this one over a little bit. So there's a little bit of space. I meant to leave more space between. But um, I don't know. Yeah, I think the crackle's a good idea, but I've already started this way, and so we're going to finish this way, but. Sorry, we'll get that goopy bit off the sponge. <laughs> I don't want that. Okay. And then... Okay. 
sorry. And then this one I'm not going to put quite in the middle for that one because I moved this one over a little bit. So we're just going to move everything over a little bit. Oh, I know you weren't telling me to do it, Teresa, but it's a great idea. <laughs> but um, I'm just telling you why, even though I think it's a great idea, I'm not going to do it. It's because I've already started. Um, Okay, I kind of moved it a little bit accidentally. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I want to do this. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, well, I've got to look over the edge of the table, make sure I'm not messing it up. Okay. Okay, let's Okay. We might even add some snow onto the winter one when we get there. Not sure. <laughs> it all just looks, I know, um, black on the screen, but there is the, the brown is there. <laughs> it, it is there.
I may wish I hadn't um, I may wish I hadn't decided to try to do it this way we will see need to get out some more paint before I do spring <laughs> what today I should have just put that on the video making a mess okay Yeah, this is definitely, I didn't put the same amount of space between the trees or anything. So it's going to look like they, you know, walked around each season and moved to a different place. <laughs> oh, well. It'll be okay. See if there's more black paint. Okay. That part of our tree is shorter because the paper is shorter. But we're going to be okay with that because we did the shorter paper on purpose. And I am going to need some more black.
Okay. <laughs> now we got trees, a bunch of trees. Um I got to get this out of the way here. I'm going to try to lift this up so you can see how that I put, I don't know. Well, I don't think you can see it. There's some red in there. I mean, some brown. It looks kind of reddish. Okay. So we've got it like this. <laughs> so that's how it goes. And I'm going to move this so I can let it just dry. Lay it out here. Oh. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah, it's just the first layer. It's going to have lots and lots of layers. Thank you, Jen. Boy. <laughs> My hands are very messy. All right. Come on, Lisa. I've got to get some of this off. It's driving me nuts. I don't like to wear gloves, but I don't like gunk on my fingers either. <laughs> Some days I can handle the gunk on my hands a lot better than other days, but today is not one of those days. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to need to get probably another wipe. Comes off the glass, but doesn't want to come off the masking tape. So that's all right. The masking tape's just there to try to prevent glare. I can always replace it. In fact, I have. I have replaced it. <laughs> I look like I've been digging in the garden. But I haven't been. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. I'm still trying to remember what was the other thing I wanted to do. But I don't. I don't know what it was. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm really, I'm really tired today. Um, it's been. I'm just tired. It's been, the weekend wasn't restful. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I can say. It wasn't restful. <coughs> oh, I could work on this. I forgot we haven't finished this. We, we made the little book out of a mushroom playing cards box. And I put a couple of the cards from the you know, that belong in the box in here. And then I added paper. These were some funnily shaped tea. Um, I got tea out of them. It's all packaging. And then I glued papers on it.
And then I came back in and I put some mushrooms and greenery or flowers and mushrooms. Butterfly and flower. So I put something back in it. And I wanted to go ahead and finish um, putting these in and then see if I can find some words. So, thanks. I like it. I know, Barbara. And, um, and I'm really thinking about just going ahead and getting off and doing this Thursday because I really am tired. Um, but it's not like I can go take a nap. <laughs> Because the puppy's in the crate and the crate's in my bedroom and I don't want to confuse him by turning off the light and I can't sleep if the light's not off. So so let's let's at least do a few pages. Oh, thank you, Sherry. We're going to do a few. We've just got all these mushrooms and leaves and flowers and butterflies is what's here. And they're not all spread out. Um, easy to see. I probably ought to spread them out more so I can see them better. I like that. Can I put this behind it? The problem is the leaf will show up under this. Um... That would be okay. Okay, I'm going to do these two. And I'm going to do what we started having to do on the front ones. And that is, I'm going to cut off some of this stuff around the edges so it doesn't show. Being on a live stream and just sitting in the living room with a book takes all kinds of different levels. That is true, Barbara. That is very true. And I am going to um, go um, now that y'all are saying all that, it's making me want to leave more. It makes me think, yeah, yeah, you really need to do that. But let's do this page first. Do this page first. And there's a spot right there I really want to. Um, I want to trim that out. And I know I'm going to do it with an exacto knife. I was going to say, I think I'll just cut right here. No, I think I am going to because that'll work. And Oh, Journey, sweetheart. You're so sweet. Thank you. Let's do a happy dance. Do a happy dance for Journey. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We're going we're gonna to learn some new dances one of these days. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. I need a new dance, don't I? That one's kind of this. all I know how to do. I am not a good dancer. In case any of you thought otherwise, I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> I'm not a good dancer. We're going to go ahead and trim around this one, too. And then it's, it shows up a little bit better. I can have some fun in Timu. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not buying anything else. Um... I'm trying to save money so I can go see my sister in the fall. And it's it's not going to be cheap because she lives in Virginia, right by um, Williamsburg. And I've never been there, so I really want to go. Besides just to see her, I just want to go there. Um, but it's not going to be a cheap 
thing to do. So I'm I'm saving all my pennies to do that. Yeah, that's even better. I agree. I agree. I went, I took the kids. We went to see my sister when she lived in Kansas. And Ethan broke his elbow, crushed his elbow playing. And um, so that was kind of a bust trip. <laughs> but, um, and then when they went, lived in San Antonio, I went a few times, but I, I don't get to go see her very often because she's always lives far away because her husband's in the army. Um, but I think that this is their, um, going to be their, they're hoping to live in this house or this area and retire around there, right around there too. So, um, so if I can't go this year, I can go next year. It's not like she's moving away real soon, which is usually the case. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me get rid of those little, little crumbs. And now we're going to put this on there. If I can get it. <laughs> Come on. I got to get where I can do stuff with my fingers if I'm going to do that. Um, you're only three hours and 45 minutes from Williamsburg? Cool. Well, I will let you know when I go. I may not say the dates out loud on here. But if you'll remind me at the time, Journey, I'll give dates. I don't want to, I don't want anybody who might not be y'all to know that I'm going to be gone. That's something that, um, especially if my kids are going to be here. Of course, they're adults. They're not little kids, but they're going to be here by themselves. But I got to wait till Hannah gets her driver's license and I save up some money. And I'd really like to go in the fall so I can see the colors change. But I would love to see you, Journey. That would be so cool. Okay, come on. Every time I try to do one of these, it makes me doubt my ability to do that miniature set <laughs> and then suddenly it will work and I go oh okay okay we're gonna put that on there and now we're gonna add the mushrooms right down here it's beautiful in the fall. Well, it's beautiful. Every picture she's shown me of it is beautiful. Um, but I would like to see it in the fall. That's that's my my goal. And her youngest one is graduating this year, and we'll um, so that's cool too. Okay, there's that one. And see how you can see the leaves behind that mushroom? <laughs> I think that looks kind of weird, but that's the way it is. Okay. I don't think I want to do... Yeah, I want to do this one on here. Um, well, I think I do. With maybe a butterfly. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to stop. 
if I didn't have to fussy cut these because I'm don't like the edges showing, um, we could probably do more pages, but <laughs> I don't go, usually go right at the edge. I guess I could, and I almost did on that one. Okay, I'm going to do this one right on the edge, and we'll see. So I'm going to go back around here and trim it right on the edge. Okay. It was, wasn't it, Janet? It was very sweet, and I'm very appreciative. And on this one, I'm not going to, the antenna barely show it all. So I'm just going to write them in. I'm just going to write them in. Draw them in, whatever, however you say that. <laughs> well, I got the leaning tower of mushroom. Well, mushrooms lean. I'm not going to fret over it. Just because everything leans around here. <laughs> Everything's crooked. Everything leans. Just like me trying to find a flat place to lay my pan so that all the stuff wouldn't run from one side to the other. And there was no completely level place out there. I did the best I could. Okay, go back, go back. Okay, so there's that one. I like it. I think it turned out cute. Oh. And we're just going to leave this. And I'll work on it some more on Thursday. But I am going to go, go in and try to relax a little bit before I have to let the puppy out and go get Hannah and all of that. Um, thank you for coming, all of you. I appreciate you. I appreciate your thumbs up. I appreciate the super sticker or super chat journey. I'm not sure which one it is. I don't know enough about those to know which one's which. Um, but I, I thank all of you for being here so much. Uh, Y'all bring me peace and love. And I want to hand it back to you. Peace and love. God bless you. Bye-bye.